Hello, uh, welcome back to another video. If you've clicked on this video, then you already know what it's about. Um, I'm basically just going to discuss why I'm selling my Mark IV Golf Estate. I know a lot of people have messaged me to ask because I've put it on Instagram and stuff like that. Um, so I just thought I'd make a little video um, and then just explain what the thought process is uh, and then potentially what I'm going to be getting moving forward. <laughs> So I guess uh, the simple answer to the question is as much as I do like the golf, um, my plan was always for the golf to be a daily car and I was going to buy another Honda. If you're watching my early videos, I mentioned that I've always had Hondas before. Uh, I was going to buy another 90s Honda or an older Honda just for B-Road blasts, like a weekend toy car. The plan was I was going to buy a house that had um, a garage and I'd use the Golf as a daily and then buy something to put in the garage. So long story short, um, I am buying a house but it doesn't have a garage. So what I need to do is try and combine the need for a bigger car. And the reason I have an estate is essentially because I want to get a big dog. Uh, <laughs> and I want to be able to transport it safely. So that's why I got the estate to start with. I, did, I haven't got the dog yet because I didn't get the house. It took a bit longer than expected. Uh, but yeah, so next car, I need to combine something that is quick, not fast. There's a big difference, I think. Something that's quick um, and an estate car and something that can like look moderately nice. I know there's some pretty ugly estate cars. So then the thought process starts. So my original thought process, um, I joined a few owners groups on Facebook, stuff like that, just do a bit of research. And I was pretty dead set on um, an R36 Passat Estate, a JDM one, so an imported one. Uh, you could pick a pretty good one up for like 10 grand, 300 brake horsepower, all wheel drive and sound amazing. <laughs> started looking into like modern options what's the future potential of them and because they're NA you, you're essentially stuck with what you've got unless you go down like the turbo route or whatever and it just gets ridiculously expensive and um, so that was one sort of car I was looking at started look at the Audi Avance like the S line ones not the RS's because they're a bit too expensive and again you can you can buy them for about 10 grand but the running costs are just astronomical. If anything goes wrong, it costs a fortune. Um, I just, I wasn't really that into that, to be honest. Um, brakes and things like that were just quite expensive. Speaking to some people that have owned, like they are, uh, like S6, uh, S6 Avant, like all that sort of stuff. I just, nah, I just don't think it was for me. Um, especially getting used quite regularly, like a daily. Um, I also spent some time looking at some Golf R estates, um, bit out of my price range to be honest, like 15 grand for the cheapest one and as much as you can make them quick and things like that, it's a Golf R and, and everybody seems to have a Golf R, um, so it just wasn't nice cars but just a bit too much money, looked at like the seat equivalents and stuff like that but still all exactly the same. Um. so yeah so I knew it was going to be an estate I've actually bought the next car um, which I'll put a video up of I'll be honest it's not a car that I ever thought I would buy um, I have looked at them before and I genuinely think out the box they're probably one of the most ugliest cars going but and um, doing a bit of research online finally find some modified ones and they can look pretty nice um, but I shall tell you what that is in the next video because I'll do a little walk around video that I do with the golf let you know what the plans are um, what it needs etc etc because right now I still don't know if I'm going to keep it but I have already bought it so yeah 
I know it's a bit of a long talky video. Um, I guess this is the end of an era. This will be the last golf build uh, video that I put up. Um, to be fair, I've just put a Audi TT front anti-roll bar on and I didn't even document any of that. Um, but it was needed. As you all know, if you've got a Mark IV Golf, the, the drive shafts rub. So I've already done that. But yeah, the Golf is for sale. Um, I've bought another car. I'm in no rush to sell it, to be honest. It's not exactly the best time to be selling cars. Um, but yeah, this is the end of the era. And I guess the next video you'll see will be the walk around of the new one. So yeah, thanks for following this journey. If you haven't subscribed, it'd be great if you could. Uh, currently only 2% of the people that watch my videos have actually subscribed. Um, and then maybe you can join me on the journey of the, of the next car. So yeah, I'll see you in that one. Thank you.